At the St. Ignatius Secondary School, they celebrated the passing out of the grade 10 students. The school last year recorded a high turnover of students, making it into grade 11 with above average grades. Recently, in grade 12 performance, we have uh, been in the top five schools in the country. And uh, more than 80% of our students in grade 12 get selected to tertiary uh, institutions. But it wasn't always that way. After the introduction of the outcome-based education system, student performance went on a downhill spiral. As a consequence, there was a request to the district to put in place a program that would address the problem of low standards. Until such time, the National Department of Education comes up with a method of their own. Former principal of St. Ignatius Secondary, Frank Evans, was brought on board to help solve the dilemma. It's called Back to Basics. And it concentrates on English, um, literacy, um, so reading and speaking and writing in English, and basic numeracy. And we present that in communities because we, at primary level mainly, um, we can't get an instant fix at, um, at high school or secondary level because the problem is much further down the line. On a national scale, Mr. Evans presented frightening statistics of the effects of the outcome-based education system. But that passed was 519. 519 out of 3,136. So you've got 2,600 below the cutoff point. But the policy that's pushed forward about you know, filling up space meant that throughout the province, we took an, another 833 failed students onto grade nine. And this was just leading to a down spiral of, of results. On top of changing its method of teaching, St. Ignatius Secondary also has a strong zero tolerance of alcohol and does not allow students to carry mobile phones to school for obvious reasons. Just a week ago, a resolution was reached by Sandown provincial leaders that the back to basics method would be rolled out in the province. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.